Hello friends, here we will discuss 12th of January 2022 current affairs and along with current affairs we will discuss some static fact. So here we are moving to the question number 1. Who has become the CEO of Adani Power? And the answer is Ser Shing B. Khalia. Option A. Ser Shing B. Khalia. Adani Power announced that it has appointed Ser Shing Khalia as the chief executive officer with effect from 11 January. An appointment with effect from 11 January has been approved by the board of directors of its company meeting held on 11 January as mentioned by the Adani Power Limited. The company said this. And the establishment year 1996 headquarter is in Ahmedabad. Which company unveiled electric scooter in partnership with Bitech International? And the answer is Bugatti. The electric scooter was developed in partnership with Bitech International and the weight that is 15.8 kg primarily built using magnesium alloy and the maximum speed can be 30 km per hour port is a 700 watt motor and it offered 36 volt 10 ampere battery options which offer a total range of up to 35 km right okay that's it which company launched the cannabis social network canap club Canup Club launched by which club? That is, which company? That is Himalaya Technology. Himalaya Technology, formerly known as Homeland Resource Limited, has launched its wholly owned cannabis social network, that is Canup Club. And establishment year 2001, Anand Narasimhan is the head. Right. Ahmed Kalik died recently due to car accident. He belongs to which field? He belongs to, he is a footballer. Former Galatasaray and Turkey defender Ahmed Kalik has died in a car crash aged 27. His club, Quina Sport, said on Twitter. And Turkey, Ankara, lead, Ankara is the capital, Lira is the currency, Recep type Edogan is the president. What amount of security aid approved by Biden administration to Ukraine under emergency powers? And the answer is $200 million. The Joe Biden administration of the United States quickly approved an additional $200 million in security assistance to Ukraine late in December as reported by CNN. And a large part of $200 million security package comprised military equipment such as small guns, ammunition, secure radios, medical equipment, etc. And even as the capital Washington DC, dollar is the currency president Joe Biden. What amount has been approved by US for humanitarian aid for the people of Afghanistan? And this is $308 million. The United States announced that it, has give, it was given more than $308 million in humanitarian aid to the Afghan people in an effort to support the Afghan facing economic collapse under the new Taliban government. The White House said that the administration will also send 1 million additional COVID-19 vaccine doses to the country. Good news. And the United Nations and the eight groups have reportedly warned of a pending humanitarian catastrophe in the country of 38 million people. Again, US capital Washington DC, dollar is the currency, Joe Biden is the president. Who has been appointed as the title sponsor of IPL 2022 and 23 season? And that is option B, Tata. The association of Chinese mobile maker Vivo has come to an end with Tata replacing the smartphone brand as IPL's title sponsor from 2022 season onwards. The decision over the sponsorship change taken during the IPL governing council meeting on Tuesday. Tata headquarters is in Mumbai, establishment year 1868. Notarajan Chandrasekharan is the head. Moving to next. Who has been added to the board of directors of Meta? Recently changed the name from Facebook to Meta. And that is Tony Zhu. Tony Zhu has recently been added to the board of directors of Meta. Meta just added Tony Zhu to its board of powerful tech players. Zhu confounded DoorDash in 2013 with some classmates from Stanford University. Facebook, that is recently changed its name to Meta, headquartered is in California, US. Mark Zuckerberg is the CEO. 59th National Roller Skating Championship 2021 held at which place? And the answer is option C, Mohali. 
The 59th National Roller Skating Championship 2021 was held in Mohali from 11 to 22nd December 2021. Teams from all over India participated in this championship and a total of 21 states participated. Young skaters from Pune have bought laurels to the city by securing multiple medals at the 59th National Roller Skating Championship organized by the Roller Skating Federation of India held in Mohali. That's it. Next. National Youth Day is observed on 12th of January. National Youth Day is celebrated every year in India on 12th January. The day is celebrated to mark the birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda. He was a philosopher and a social reformer who worked very hard towards fighting the illiteracy and eliminating child marriage. National Youth Day 2022 marks the 25th edition of this special celebration that marks the importance of the youth in the development of a country. This is National Youth Day, 12th January. Right. Chris Morris recently retired from all forms of international cricket. In which country he belongs to? He belongs to South Africa. South African all-rounder Chris Morris has announced his retirement from all forms of international cricket while declaring his decision to hang his boost after a 12-year career. 34-year-old Morris also said that he would be taking up a coach role with South African domestic side Titans. And South African three capital that is executive capital is Pretoria, legislative capital is Cape Town, and judicial capital that is Bloemfontein. And currency is Rand, President Cyril Ramaphosa. A strong earthquake hit Cyprus and part of Turkey recently. What is the value in Richter scale? That is 6.1. A strong earthquake with a preliminary magnitude of 6.1 rattled a small island nation of Cyprus and was felt throughout the East Mediterranean region. The country's geological survey department said on Tuesday. And capital currency of Cyprus, that is Cyprus Nicosia Euro. And for Turkey, capital is Ankara and Lira is the currency. So that is all the news I have discussed here in this session. Today's current affairs. I hope you understood all the news. And that is all for now. Good day.